And we're going to kick it off talking about some news from Netcracker that came out of the Mobile World Congress event in Barcelona in late February. At that event, Netcracker announced a new monetization and, and digital experience capabilities. They're now embedded in the Netcracker digital platform, and that affords some pretty amazing benefits to CSPs. Ron, why don't you take, take it away and talk a little bit about some why this is a big deal. Yes, and I think it's uh, still going to be a, a major thing of what it came out of Mobile World Congress. We'll be talking about it through the next two uh, quarters at least. And yeah. I believe the Net Cracker digital platform announcement is a good example of it. And the reason is, is that's op offering an open, modular, digital native uh, solution that's going to be key to the ability of communication service providers to monetize 5G services. After all, they're investing a lot of money and time to building out right. these networks, particularly getting to a 5G standalone implementation. And right. uh, the Netcracker digital platform is purpose-built uh, for that scenario. Uh, for one, it's supporting 5G converged charging system. And that's going to be critical for being able to support things like SLA-based charging, as well as SLAS, or slicing as a service, and not to get confused with the guitarist for Guns N' Roses, <laughs> but uh, through SLAS, uh, we can anticipate uh, the ability to support multi-partner B to B to X uh, billing and settlement scenarios. Obviously, the operators are keen on getting uh, a cut of that pie. And in addition, I think another key highlight of that announcement is that it's supporting full automation for the RAN, the mobile edge right. computing, the transport and core domains. And all these have to be orchestrated in order to assure uh, 5G monetization on a, a real-time basis or certainly in a flexible, agile manner that aligns with, uh, say, network slicing or yeah. use case networking or however you want to characterize it, being able to use the 5G network to meet the very specific and unique needs of customers, especially on the enterprise side. Right. And also, I think uh, what's important is that it's aligning uh, with ORAN um, API uh, priorities. And that is another example of where the ecosystem is going to be playing a major role in the ability of the operators, onboard partners, uh, leverage developer innovation and so forth, just to simply right. make 5G services uh, more sexy, more fun, or yeah. certainly more business uh, friendly and so forth. And so, yeah, I think this is yeah. definitely an announcement that will have impacts uh, across the 5G ecosystem, including in particular the 5G monetization segment. Yeah. And that's, a, you know, that's so important. This is really all about powering business growth, helping to power business growth and value creation, helping CSPs accelerate their internal digit digitalization. That's a big one to say quickly, digitalization efforts, um, you know, building, helping build immersive digital experiences. And then, you know, as you said, providing innovative and adaptive 5G business models. This is about business agility. It's about stimulating innovation and collaboration. It's really about establishing a foundation for allowing CSPs to maximize revenue and profitability. And, and that's what everybody wants, right? So, so I think this is important. This platform, you know, is, is an amazing platform. And so I think we'll see, you know, and, and, and of course, Netcracker isn't the only, um, company in the 5G space focused on CSP monetization efforts. And so I think we're, we're going to be talking about that a lot moving forward because it's a very big deal. 